Hey YouTube, I wanted to show you another amazing fact about our planet. Um, here, um, I got uh, a comment that somebody made that said that uh, Google Earth isn't proof or evidence or can be used as evidence. Well, I don't know what, what why anybody would think that. I mean, come on. Let me show you what I can do with Google Earth for evidence. Here's that India, and the, here's that crater that uh, has no meteor stuck in it. I guess it must have hit a side shot and bounced off, but actually it's not a crater from a meteor. It's a crater from a vortex, and you're looking at it sideways as it rotates through here. But let me show you my evidence here. I wanted to show you a different color of South America and uh, Antarctica here. And I can't believe there's people out there that, that actually try to convince me that this isn't good enough. Okay. Not only is this good enough, it's better than good. Check this out. You see that right there? I can get as close as I want, and it's always going to match. Down to the, to the details. Okay, you see that, and even the lines and everything. Then I can go over here. Let me show you this. You see these ripples in here on this plate or planet? I mean, a uh, um, continent. Sorry. Well, when I line this up here, lo and behold, those ripples line up to the same same thing. Look at that. Opposite sides of the planet. And someone has the nerve to tell me that I can't use this. This is not good enough for evidence. You must be off your, you must be off your meds, bro. That's all I gotta say. You have to be a fucking idiot if you look at this and go, no, it can't be. No, I'm serious. You'd have to be a moron, a complete freaking moron. And it, and the only way you would argue this is through your ego. And I'm telling you, you've lost. Okay, look, you see this. Look how I can get closer. Look what plate tectonics can do for alignments at, at, at far away resolution. I mean, it's it's horrible. This this is like. I mean, this is this is like. A, I can't. I mean, if if this was technology, this would be like a. Like a a raptor jet plane, and what what plate tectonics uses would be like a throwing rock would be the comparison between these two, okay? I mean, because look at that. But it gets better than this. Check this out. Now, this is South America right here. This is the southern tip. Here's the other end of South America, okay? get rid of let me get rid of this first yeah okay so check this out southern tip northern tip Berkeley currents <laughs> you see this 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 round hill mountain whatever goes underneath this one and this one goes on top of it because they're wrapping around each other because they're not they're, they look like mountains but they weren't mountains originally they're made by plasma and they're Berkeley currents giant Berkland currents. I guarantee you that this is true. Anyways, just to pr prove my point here, there's the southern tip and then the northern tip. You see anything unusual here? I mean, should those be lining up like that? If this was plate tectonics? Look, there's even a little round indentation for this guy right here. But check it out. Look at the whole thing here. I mean, you got to take it all in to appreciate this. This is uh, Antarctica. If 
if you were doing this overlay yourself, you could move it anywhere you want and you'd see alignments that I, I'm not even showing you right here. Check this out though. You can see that can you see that 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 the north part of South America here here's this these this mountain range and it loops around and it obviously ties right back into this range right here. Come on, I know if you're a geologist and you're looking at this, you must be crapping your pants right now because I know you know what this means because I know that you know enough about this planet that you'll know exactly what I just showed you. These other guys that keep commenting their negative comments, they don't have a clue what, what, what they're talking about. Actually, it's kind of embarrassing. But I know a, a real geologist or a seismologist, you know, even though they don't, they believe a different theory I know that when they see this they're gonna recognize what it means because they 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 are smart they know about the earth they're gonna realize that their theory is wrong okay and I think that's cool I, I if they do that I mean that's amazing I don't think mainstream science will let that happen but at least the people on YouTube can know the truth Yeah, I don't think you'll see this up on mainstream media being announced by our local news or anything like that anytime soon, even though you can see that it's the truth. And then I put that ball right there. See? You can see the discharge. This is an electrical discharge, by the way. See how it fits in both places, though? The mountains here. Those guys that keep saying that, that that I'm just matching up shapes. What shape am I matching up here that, that, that bothers you? Which which shape that I'm matching up that you think disproves anything what I'm claiming? And as a matter of fact, you can see these little pincher fingers. They look like fingers or something like that. You could tell that they as this rotated through, you could see the markings they left. Here's the these islands. They're all a certain space from each other and I guarantee you it's going to be related to the size of that you see that you see that okay and then there's, and there's somebody that's going to tell me that I, I'm wrong here how could you even argue me I mean it, I mean don't you think it just would be foolish right now to argue what I'm telling you when you could see this with your own eyes this alignment I mean these guys I don't know where they come from but <laughs> It's just funny though the way they they, they they argue about stuff that they, they have no idea what they're talking about. They're trying to say that I'm just randomly making I'm just randomly you know matching up shapes yet they, I mean look at the, the terrain I mean <laughs> you can't really argue this and, and I made the claim that, that these Birkeland currents is what made that crater right here. And you can see that's true. Watch when I flip this around. I have a funny feeling if I... Well, I won't go there yet, but... Well, why not? Let's try this. I'm going to flip this inverted, actually. Watch. Let's see. Okay. I don't think that's going to... Well, well, hold on. See, I'm just doing this off the top of my head. I'm not, like, this is not something I figured out ahead of time, so you have to bear with me a little bit. But uh, it's kind of cool, though, in a way, because you're, you're discovering this as I discover it, so I don't feel so alone like I usually do when I figure this shit out. See? See what I'm talking about? It, it does match. Oh, crap. I hate when it does that. See how it matches? Even that way? 
It's because this thing was it's just spinning. It's spinning and spinning like a drill. And it's caught, and here's the wake of it. The, it's just like, th here's the wake of it. Probably in the exact shape of it. Yep. Here's that little niche right there with that line right there. You can see that this is related to that. I'll, I'll get as close as you need be. Any, anybody can get closer and check this out for themselves. They're going to find out that this does match up and it's right. This is how it is. I don't understand. I mean, I'm sure some. I'm sure a lot of you now are getting it, but I know that there's a lot of people out there still that will see this and still wonder. Uh, I don't think so. Well, why don't you see what plate tectonics has for evidence? And I guarantee you, it's not as good as this for sure. It's not even close. And I know any geologist that might be watching this is going to know that. You're going to know that deep inside, man. I mean, I mean, I don't know if you guys are going to like just ignore this or or pretend it didn't happen, but but it happened, and this is how it is. I can show you how the planet was created by the surface features because it's embedded in them. Because the oldest part of the planet is the surface. It's not the core. It's the other way around. It's like a tree, like a tree ring. It, and that's the way it is. It, um, I can tell that by just visually looking at this planet. I mean, you can run tests. I guarantee if you run tests, you're going to find out that it's true. But you can tell. You can see that it's true. This is, this is the power of visual, you know, observable evidence. Is that you can look. You see something. You can. You can figure it out just by looking at its design sometimes you know you can't trust your own logic you you don't need mainstream media to confirm or deny or I mean if that's if that's the confidence level you have in your own judgment you know whatever those are usually the people that argue this by the way they argue this with all full confidence because they think that mainstream media has got their back but they don't know that mainstream science actually is either a corrupt or they're just a lot of dumb people running the show in mainstream science okay because lately it's the citizens that are figuring out the science nowadays and that's true and I'm just a regular citizen and I'm telling you I figured this out now there's other people on YouTube that have figured out earthquakes and electromagnetism from the Sun there's there's a lot of people that have figured they are figuring out the science and the scientists aren't having nothing to do with it we're there because somebody is obviously it's got to be that somebody controls our science and not allowing scientists to be become who they are you know like uh, let, allow them to they're not allowing them to be real scientists anymore they're controlling them so much that it's now citizens that are figuring it out because I believe everybody's a scientist inside all right that's what separates us from the chimpanzees um, chimpanzees don't build you know rocket ships and and boats but but people do and i think it's because that's the difference is we're we're actually all scientists <laughs> deep inside one way or the other and i think that there's a group that's trying to take that from us and there's too many people willing to give it to them and i think it's time that people need to change that hey, thanks for watching but i always leave out stuff and I, I regret it later. So let, before I go, let me just run through this so we can see all the options here. Well, not all the options, but as many as I can think of. You can see how that goes there. This is traveling around, by the way. It is what it is. I really don't know how anybody could argue this. I, I mean, without looking stupid. We all can see this. We can look at that. You can see that the discharge pattern right here, which that is, that uh, the Amazon River is the, the main discharge that helps shape the, the, the surface features of this planet. And I can prove that because it lines up everywhere. I, I guarantee if you took a... a, set, a a bolt of lightning which I'll probably do in the next video so as to confirm this that, that it won't match up 
like this does because this it, it, it would you know that would prove that there's a relationship between the the discharge the amazon discharge and that not everything that looks like lightning is going to fit everywhere you know like this you can even see the oh, man oh well i don't know it's going to be funny that that there'll still be someone arguing this Okay, so that's that. Let me put the other thing up again. Okay, yeah. Anyways, oh yeah. Oh shit. Hold on one second. I gotta find that. can't use this as evidence uh, you see this right here this mountain range here it is I just cut it so I didn't have to drag the whole thing around but I was told that that Google Earth can't be used for evidence because it's it would be inaccurate and all that well I, I beg to differ bro I don't know what these kids are on man but I, somehow I think it's the fluoride in the water because anybody in their right mind can see this is really good evidence right here that that used to sit there you can see that, that it's amazing the how close it, it this right here tells me that the surface features of our planet are not that old because this lines up too well on um, these are, these are from opposite sides of the planet think about that at the rate of your fingernail growth is what supposedly these these continents move at opposite sides of the planet and here they are lining up like it broke off yesterday yeah go ahead and leave a comment hopefully I get some positive ones for a change because I'm getting tired of hearing these guys that just just can't wrap their heads around this you know um, thanks for watching and hey, I'm sorry if I came off like a condescending prick in my last video I didn't mean to it just somehow it, it just comes out that way sometimes you get frustrated over this but uh, I apologize if anybody took that as you know as me being condescending or anything so because I, I, I watched my other video the last video and I thought I thought I was condescending so I'm just telling you sorry if you thought that thanks for watching